I just enjoy that music is the thing that there are five of us on stage having these five different experiences that we're all playing and you just feel this energy from the music and the people and, and there's nothing like that. I'm surprised every sunrise the earth would have me back I used to think I wanted to be a painter, but I realized how stoic and alone it was. And then I would go play music, and I really liked the camaraderie, the collectiveness of it. And it just seemed to suit my personality better. I will burn up all I have. So don't go out your way to make a good day. I try to surround myself with people with similar aesthetic, but also aesthetics that challenge me. And in that challenge, that's where my creativity flourishes. When you work with her, it's just you just have to forget about the boxes and just just try things. It's okay to try things, and you know it's it's about constantly discovering. Every night is different. Every set list is different every night. I know what we're doing. I love kind of flying by the seat of my pants, and I think she does too. There's a lot of people that tell me how much they love her, but all they know is the first two records, you know, and it's like, she's still, she's always making incredible records and they just keep getting better and better as far as I'm concerned. She definitely had gone through a, some a bit of a metamorphosis since her first two records in particular, which are more uh, funk and jazz based. She had gotten more experimental sonically and this new record, it was just more like free reign and very diverse record. But at the same time, you know, she's so strong lyrically and just in herself, you know, that's the glue that holds it together where it's a more of a rock song or a, a dubby kind of song or just really ambient and beautiful. She's always holds it all together. I just, in my mind, that's how I think of music. It's just layers of patterns on top of patterns. And that's, and, the, and just the emotion of when you say something over and over again to be understood, the repetition. Just wanna be happy and thankful, not just try to get through. Just wanna be happy and thankful, not just try to get through. I wanted to show there's complexity in even the most simple things. A lot of the songs are based on phrases that interlock, and then she'll take those and layer those on top of each other, but sometimes she'll shift one forward in time or back in time so that it's almost a polyrhythmic approach. That creates interesting new chords and structure. The title track, uh, Come Come To Me, that's that type of song.
come on, it's just this that dumb. It's just funny. Like friending is now a verb. You know, how many friends do you have? Apparently I have over, you know, 5,000 friends and I didn't even know. <laughs> so it just made me laugh. I think she's much funnier than people realize. I think people think she takes herself really serious and, and all that, but she's one of the funniest people that I know. She has such a great sense of humor and, uh, and also, she has such humility. I remember when guys used to use uh, L, uh, LPs, 12 inches of loops, and like, you know, <laughs> spit their rhymes over just loop records. And so I wanted to create that kind of feeling of it catches up, speeds up. So that's where that comes from. I just wanted to show all my reverence for that time, you know, of hip hop and two turntables and a microphone. And, Friends. Compared to Conviction, which is a friendship breakup song, you know, that was a great collaboration too. Again, this bass player named Kave Rastagar wrote that, and he gave me the track, and I just liked it because when I was listening to it at home, it would just make me feel like Mick Jagger in a weird way. I just felt like I wanted to have my Mick Jagger strut. Just gave me a certain feel, you know, something that has movement and emotion. I think for me, Forget My Name was always my favorite song. And when we recorded Efficient for the record, it just, just had that magic. I think we did maybe two takes, and it's got the dubby thing, but it's like ambient. It's got so many elements to it that, to me, uh, kind of captures a lot of what's in the record as a whole. I just want to be a conduit for other people's emotions. Tom, my neighbor, and I wrote, he's a, a writer. And, uh, and then one of his novel was uh, stolen and he didn't have a backup. And I think it just, I think it broke his heart or spirit. He would write uh, words on pieces of paper and we exchange them and then I take, I take his words and made a song. And I, I mean, he has the most, to me, the most profound lyric of the album. There's, there's nothing between us except the feeling of nothing. And, you know, and I feel that, I, and when I know it's him, I. You know, I wanted to bring his feeling to life. How it slips away. Her sheer musicianship sets her apart, and also the fact that she doesn't let the musicianship get in, in the way of feeling. It's not musicianship as an end to itself. You know, some people like, if they're amazing on their instrument, they tend to let that dictate where they're going, and for her it's not about that. It's 70% feeling and 30% execution. It's like, I'm rhythmical more than virtuoso. I'm trying to find the gate, the rhythm that will move you, make you feel something. I like to dance and I'm, I, I think this is where I attribute femininity. I think a lot of male bass players are really into chops and facility. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, is she dancing? Is she feeling this? could have taken the avenue to becoming some sort of R&B something or other. But I just like, I like all kinds of music, so I just try to grow and change and, and stay curious. That's when I was told, you don't make black music, why don't you make a black record? <laughs> yeah, bok, 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 bok. Yeah. Yes, exactly, it's just music. <laughs> traveling through this geography, experiencing it all. But it's just one journey. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. She's one of the few people that has that built in her that she just has to go 
where, you know, Yus is telling her she needs to go. I think she just can't help herself. She just has to go to new places. I mean, she's a really true artist in that way. I don't think my records are that different, personally. I think this one encompasses all the things I've ever done, and it's a good jump off point, because I think I'm done with this persona that is Michelle and Dave and Shelly. I think I'll move to more improvisational music, uh, more band-oriented things, kind of more collaborative. So I think this, I think Comet Come to Me is just a, it's a nice farewell. Yeah, 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 yeah.